Uh, ladies and gentlemen, friend of the show, uh, Laura Styles Rosenberg on yeah. you, bro, in the morning. We got 8-Track Fools Go Barry. 8-Track is can back. I can I clap? Fools Go. I mean, can you? We don't know. <laughs> uh, 8-Track, how are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Um, are you ready for the big weekend, the big day? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, what do you do in preparation for? For the people tuning in, he does something amazing that's been going on for almost a decade. This is our sixth year. Sixth year. Yeah. Mm. For in day, New York. Specifically for day off. Yeah, in New York. And it's happening Monday. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Yes. And it's, who's on the lineup? Meek Mill, Skepta, Flatbush Zombies, Post Malone, myself, uh, Drum, Tokyo, Gladiator, Leaf, uh, Nick Catch Dubs, Bosco, and more. That's a serious lineup. Yeah. Well, yeah, the lineup's yeah. getting more and more serious, it feels like. And he's, yeah, all, and he's all over the place. Okay, Miami? Yeah, so. LA? We, yep. And LA, like, Miami, mm-hmm. New York, Austin, okay. Atlanta. Oh, you added five. Austin, too. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is, that's new this year. We got five cities this year. Jeez. And are all the tickets for all the cities on sale right now? Yeah, everything's on fgdayoff.com. Lineup, tickets. Is yeah. New York sold out yet? It's not fully sold out yet. We, we still got a couple. All right. So um, it's over at uh, Kent Ave where we um, do a lot of events. Peter Palooza's been there. Mm-hmm. Um, who, what else? Uh, Greatest Day Ever's out there. It's right there on 50 Kent, yep. right in Williamsburg. Yep. And uh, there are tickets on sale if you walk up. But I want to talk Fool's Gold and kind of the, the entire mission because you guys have uh, created a nice intersection of not just hip-hop but other genres yeah. of music. Talk about that. Yeah, so Fool's Gold, the label itself, started in 2007. And, um, you know, as DJs, my partner Nick Catch Dubs and I, we wanted to create a label that stood for what we play in our sets, which is not just one thing. And I think, um, and at the time, the whole idea of like mixing up hip hop releases and electronic releases, it just felt like it hadn't been done in a long time. Like, it, you had to go back to like Nervous Records, who yeah, like in the 90s real. were putting out Black Moon and mm-hmm. Armand Van Helden, or like Sleeping Bag or stuff like that to get examples. But real. you know, it kind of got to a point, you know, I think when hip hop really blew up and you had like that, that when Def Jam had that crazy, you know, 10 year run of like the DMXs and the Ja Rules, like that was just hip hop. Like a lot of it kind of got segmented. But in our DJ scene, everything was mixing up again. So as a label, we, we went that same route of mixing stuff up again. And, um, our events reflect that too. And Day Off has really turned into an actual festival. It's bigger than just a show. And it's just kind of interesting to me to look around and look at the landscape and see that for some reason there's not really other, you know, multi-city festivals like this that cover that range musically. But I think everybody listens to more than just one thing. Of course. You know, no I mean, one's, it's not like, you know, back in the day, you know, in the 90s, you like either you listen to like, Joy Division, or you listen to BDP or KRS One, you know, and then you, you like those crowds didn't really. No, you didn't. I mean, in New York City, you had some parties where you could catch a punk hip hop yeah. intersection, right? Or yeah, you could sure. Catch and, a, and in the early days of house, you know, house and hip hop was yes. in similar clubs. But yeah. then, you know what I mean? After like Low End Theory and albums like that came out. I feel like everything... Yeah, I feel like it was like when The Chronic dropped and right. and when Ice Cube said, you know, dudes with the funny haircuts and drive you nuts, <laughs> everybody was just like, all right, we're going to go. Fine, back. don't don't have us then. <laughs> but, 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 but now everybody listens to everything, yeah. you know? And now, now, you know, it's cool to be weird. And, yes, it and is. And in this post cutty age, rap fans like, you know, electronic music, alternative music, experimental music, and... At Fool's Gold, we, we bring that on the platter, basically. We serve it to you. And I think these events are a reflection of how, to us, this all makes sense on one platter. And it's this sort of generational thing. We bring that whole generation together. Now, Rosenberg, you've embraced Danny Brown early, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, World's Fair, mm-hmm. which I know they had a, a release the zombies. on Fool's Gold. Yeah. Flatbush Zombies. Yeah. Do you see... In your, you know, because you're kind of in that purist MC hip hop world where not everyone necessarily embraces the electronic stuff. Do you see it coming together more? Well, yeah, there's a big intersection of it. There's always going to be the amount of people that never cross over past it, and those, but those people may not even check for the Flatbush Zombies because they consider it like weirdo rap. So yeah. I don't even worry about those people to be honest. I mean, I'm glad that sometimes I play songs they like, but I know the next minute. I play Antidote by Travis Scott, and they're like, Hollywood! And they're like, this sucks. So oh, what, what is this crap? Yeah. And right. so I know I'm going to lose those people. But I do think there's a, a big intersection there. It'll be interesting, though, because he has Meek on this show. I had Meek at the same venue. 
and Peter Palooza. And Peter Palooza. Oh yeah. And it was also weird. It had World's Fair and Odd Future. It was like it, you know it was they like they liked Meek, but they weren't there necessarily for, for Meek. Meek. Yeah. It was it was uh, my Peter Palooza that year was Fool's Gold Day off of Jays. When you think about it, <laughs> the lineup was like very. It was like a random lineup, but yeah, but it actually ended up playing out in person. Great. It just didn't reflect in ticket sales the way I wanted it to. Okay. Got it. If that makes sense. But once everyone was there. I mean, and Meek was great, and he brought out Fab, and he did Dreams and Nightmare intro, and it was amazing, and the weather yeah, but was great. I, but I love that. Like, as a fan, let's say I'm a big Meek fan, right? I go to Fool's Goes Day Off. I don't know who Dr uh, Drama is, whatever. Yeah, to he likes see the cha-cha. Well, yeah, he does he like is. the cha-cha. I know who he is. Well played, He's been sir. on the program, but, you know, I'm just saying that it's a great way to introduce a lot of these acts to a new audience. Well, and that's the thing is, like, there's a lot of acts that we book kind of early on the rise where like a year or two later people come up and say because yeah. for instance Flatbush Zombies we booked them like three years ago or something and now they're everywhere you got McConan early too oh, right oh yeah for sure yeah, yeah. So, they got McConan five seconds after he was popular I mean by the way literally so <laughs> Travis Scott played the LA show uh, this past weekend and right as he walked off stage and we brought out Chief Keef as a surprise and yeah, yeah I saw got, pictures of that, that yeah so him. we got them together to perform the new song from Travis's album Tra Travis finished his set he killed it. He's walking off stage and I'm right there. So he like gave me the hug or whatever. And he's like, I'm like, dope. I'm, I'm like, yo, thank you. Thank you. And he goes, you were first. You were, that's the, that, he said that to me right away. You were first. Cause we booked him like years ago. So on one hand we catch these dudes early, but on the other hand, we don't try to be too much only on the new wave. Like last year we had the locks at our event. This year we had Meek Mill, you know, in previous years in LA, we, we, in LA, we brought out DJ quick. We brought out corrupt. So it's, and that's kind of, that speaks to also, you your know, taste my my or yeah my, my role as a dj in the sense that like i'm i'm kind of straddling generations like i came up early with the the dj battles at a at an age where like i was young but i still got to know the the grandmaster flashes and 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 the, you know the hercs and those dudes i met those dudes and rock, not to mention rock raider and guys like that um and and when when the dj battle stuff kind of like fizzled off a little bit in the scene i was 18 i still i still wanted to do more and then i got into this new scene and brought in the electronic music to north america and stuff like that but so i i have the bird's eye, eye view on those different eras the different generations so i'm not only trying to bring the new stuff i'll bring i'll you know last year we had cameron and remy ma surprises oh, was, last year was amazing Great. i think you have french did you have french last yeah year? french yeah. headline and then he brought out schmurder so it's like yeah, you know. know were we there yes yep Shit, I'm not sure yeah. if you stayed. You were gone last. by then. You were. You oh, were gone. I, I, I left. No, I saw. I stayed for Remy. I think I smoked too much weed too soon. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened. Started getting paranoid. I was like, yo, yeah. get out of here, Ricky. <laughs> go, home, go home to my family. My, was my lady pregnant at that time? Man? Or was it Izzy born? I'm lost. No. Ye no, your baby was born. Just, Just had born. Been born. Yeah. And there were there you were out of the house again. A month later, out of the house. Look at you. But got home fast. Got home fast. Got to give me some credit for getting back. It's a, it's a daytime event. Well, and when you're out, you do a great yeah. job of saying that you're home. <laughs> like, you're out, and you're like, yo, I'm home. Like, but you're here. You're like, no, 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 I'm home. I'm out. <laughs> and when I'm out, or when I'm home, I do a great job looking like I'm out by posting photos of things I'm not <laughs> no, 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 I'm sure. I know. I Perception. Know. Perception. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Fool's Gold Day Off is on Monday. Uh, copy your tickets, fgdayoff.com. Fg also, the store you have in Brooklyn, how's it doing? Yep, it's doing great. 536 Metropolitan between Union and Lorimer. And is it just merch over there? It's mostly merch, but then um, every two months we have art shows as well. So we sell merch and obviously vinyl and you know headphones. You guys sell vinyl? Yeah. I didn't know that. You been over there shopping? No. What kind of vinyl you do you have? You haven't been? Like mostly our Fool's Gold releases because we, we press a lot of vinyl ourselves. Oh, so not vintage, not collector stuff. No. Okay. We, our own releases. Most of what we sell is our stuff from merch to, you know, duck sauce toys and stuff like that. And then there's a couple <laughs> couple of our friends' products that we sell as well. Like uh, the big, pun, the sorry, the Bun B coloring book and stuff like that. Right, like, like random you know cool I mean? stuff. Like, there's a few things that we'll pick up like That's that. That's dope. But for the most part, we, we make enough merch ourselves to fill the spot up. But then we, yeah, we, we have art shows and, and in stores. Tell me, we have, a, we have our own no, resident no, no, art director. No, 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 who no I just like sucked my teeth. I'm like, how come I didn't know this? Because you know you're not in damn. the art scene like you think you're yeah, in. Yeah, A-Track, can you please invite me? Yes. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm upset that I wasn't, I haven't been invited. Oh, man, look hey, at her. I just have Are my, you verklempt? I, Are you verklempt? She is a little verklempt. Look at her. Listen, I have my Fool's Gold Coke Boys t-shirt that I love. Yes. I'm excited for my my special t-shirt that I'm going to get this year. You're a fucking poser. Yeah, what? what are you going to do for the hey. t-shirt this year? I don't know. I can't tell you yet. Uh, Come on, man. Just every, every year there's a collabo t-shirt yes. with an artist. So there's definitely one for New York. 
Um, I, mean, I want all of them for this year. Damn it. I'm going to be gone this year, though. I'm going to be in Puerto Rico. I don't know if I can hold one for you. I'm sorry. Uh, well, um, please. I'll you one. All right, you ever please. notice when you're having a conversation with A-Track, just random hip-hop things pop in the <laughs> you know, you know exactly. that. That, This is why we get along very well. I'm, I'm the human instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rico, you yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, A Track, Fools Go Day Off Monday, bro. Thank you. Always good to see you. Well, Thank you. You told me yesterday about an artist named Leaf yes. out of Brooklyn, so we're going to pay attention to that. You got to get that on Rosenberg's radar. Yep. Right? So, and she's a. a I, I've, I've been peeping Leaf. I, I, I was following okay. along with the Fools Golds that were out of town. So cool. I was. I yep. actually went through her whole Instagram and was like figuring out what the movement was. I'm catching yep. up. I'm catching yep. up. So we'll pay uh. attention to that and uh, just keep us in tune, bro. Good seeing you, man. Thank you. All right. A Track.